Olympics around the corner and we're all wondering who's going to be the fastest in the 100 meters. I mean, that's a main event, 100 meters men. I mean, this year, Jamaicans are really, really killing it getting in there. Um, I'm not Jamaican, but um, I'm going to be supporting them this year. Um, yeah, my name's Ovo, author of the book, Who Are You? Of about 10 days to discovering who you are. I think there's no better illustration about people looking or seeking to get to know who they are personally than the Olympics. You get to see people with different physiques, different forms, or different events. People who go and like to do the long jump aren't the same people you see doing the high jump. Aren't the same people sprinting 100 meters, aren't the same people taking on the, the marathons in fact. Um, it's all sorts of different bodies built for different things achieving different things. Even the people doing triathlons and the people who do the heptathlon, completely different breed of people from people in the country in just one event. And what makes me, what's so fascinating about that is that's how it is in real life. We're all built for different things. Um, I'm a youth worker and as most people will tell you when they meet me, I'm a very creative person. Um, I generally can't stop cracking jokes. I need to make you laugh. I need to be kept busy. I need to be kept excited. I generally can't do behind a desk, it bores me to death just sitting behind a desk. But that's just me personally, other people need to have more rigid, you know, structured way to their lives. I need to be more fluid, I need to be more dynamic. Um, everyone finds themselves needing one or the other things. In the same sense, we look at people you run. I mean, we're just going to look at a couple of clips right now of people running. You see the difference way in which they approach things. I mean, it, it's fascinating, but that's is what I mean when I talk about discovering who you are and getting to know what makes you stand out, what makes you different from the next person. Sensational and new United Kingdom all comers record. He takes the record set by Tyson Gay in July 2006. A sensation. Now, the book Who Are You is just basically targeted at young people, people like myself, people 15 all the way to 25, 30. As I highlighted, I hope you loved that clip by the way. So, I highlighted, Who Are You? is available at Amazon. Um, you can get it at Amazon. It's available I think at several sellers. I think you can get it as, as cheap as you know, $5.97. <laughs> I'm actually retailing it for £10, but you can get it as cheap as $5.97 from Amazon, um, which is a great, great deal for what it is. It's generally just trying to help you discover who you are personally help you figure out what gifts make you work better, what things make you work better, you know, what exactly are you good at? What are you better at than anyone else? That's the main point, in fact, in this. I mean, when I look at the book itself, it was something I started writing when I was 17. It took me seven years to put it together, so you can already figure out how old I am now. But let's just take a look at, you know, what elements of this book exist out there. And in the book, I discuss emotions, your emotions. What makes you small? What makes what really makes you different from the emotional side? What makes you angry? What makes you sad? What makes you happy? And by that I mean if you really punch into your emotional, what, what drives you emotionally, you can really get to know a lot about yourself personally. Apart from that, look at your friends. Just imagine. Why do you pick your friends you pick? Have you noticed that some of your friends are exactly the same sort of person that you used to be friends with when you were in certain areas of your life? I used to find that a lot of my friends are very, very similar to me, and very, very similar to each other. And they end up being friends themselves. And even though I meet them in different places, I keep getting drawn to the exact same type of people. And the reason for this is I found myself being pulled into certain areas of life. And it happens to everyone, not just myself, but a lot of people out there. You really take the time to actually look at your friends and say, why well, am I friends with this person? What exactly about this person pulls me into that? Same things with mentors, same things with protégés, same things with people around you. I mean, if you look at other things as well, they're very interesting. What do people find interesting about you? What do people think is great about you personally? I mean, everyone has something which you're gifted in. What do people say you're gifted in? I mean, that's another weird thing to look at, your personal talents and gifts. These are some of the things I talk about when looking at discovering who you are. 
I mean, apart from just looking at the process of discovering who you are, and why, why, why is it necessary for you to do this? We all want to have our own identity. We all want to find our uniqueness out in life. We're all looking for a place where we fit in. It's true. I mean, personally for me, if I was an astronaut, I, it might seem like a great thing, but I wouldn't be happy. I'll be away from people. Anyone who knows me knows that I love being around people. I love just hanging out, you know, not really hanging out, but loping around them to actually interact with people in the sense of a very, very, um, helping them in, in many ways, inspiring people. I'm very, very, I'm, I'm very into inspiring people, hence why I wrote the book in the first place. Apart from that, it's a sort of youth work. I love working with young people from the community. I mean, uh, it's crazy, but it's just my whole passion, my whole entire life grew is all around just working with people and kids. It, it's something I, I passionately enjoy myself.